Welcome back to my channel, Delightful underscore Dawn, and here I am, Dawn. Today we're going to do a review of One Size Patrick Star Visionary Collection. <laughs> if that ran on too long, I don't know. I'm trying to make it work. But yeah, if that is something you might be interested in. And also a giveaway, you know, celebration of us hitting 1K and above, then go ahead and continue to watch. Don't forget to follow me on all social media platforms at the Delightful underscore Dawn. Again, delightful underscore Don. So if anyone's seen my recent video, we talked about how that, um, Patrick Star was coming out with a full collection of where it had eyeshadow, eyeliners, he has the go off makeup remover mist as well as the wipes. And so now we're gonna go over his actual collection of the eyeshadow and the pen. Those are the two items I was able to snag, as well as I was able to snag one um, an extra pen and an extra eyeshadow palette to give away. But let's go over like how I feel about the stuff so far. This is gonna be a first impressions and I'm gonna try to apply it to my face today. So just to go over the information just in regards to like the actual product. Let me get this stuff on my face first. Let's do that. I'm gonna look over because this is where I have my clip. The collection was, like I said before in the previous video, it had the eyeshadow palette, the um, 24 hour liquid eyeliner, as well as um, some some eyeliner pencils, which were two, and they had some eyeshadow poppers. You know, eyeshadow toppers, you know, like the glitter and stuff like that, so that was nice. So the palette was, it retailed for $42, and it's supposed to be a cruelty fee, 15 highly pigmented neutral, Popping color palette, and then the pen is supposed to be 24 hour waterproof, also cruelty free, as they say. Supposed to be no fade, no smudge. We're gonna find out. So, as a dark deep beauty mocha, uh, all of that is just extra. As a you know, as a brown girl, as a black girl, period. You know, I was like, what is this like on the person that's of color? And I'm like, I haven't seen it. And I hate when like brands first come out. And then you don't see nobody in it that look like you. So that can be someone if they're like extremely pale or if they're like deep, 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 um, dark and you don't get to see that. But it's like, okay, yeah, this works for everybody. And you're like, it does it really? So I was just wondering, I was like, let me go ahead and get it. So this is the packaging. Like he said, he made it where if you are a nail beauty as my sub, shout out to my girl. I'll put her IG on the screen. She did my nails. And you just, you know, it's easy to pop up because like we see right here, you can just kind of like hold this and then bam, those are the shadows. You can get up and personal with them. And so it's 15 shades. We have black down to brown, down to some popping colors and also some shimmers and mattes. That way I can show y'all one more time. Those are the colors, $42 for 15, 15 shades, um, super pigmented mattes, sick, um, catching shimmers, as well as some, as well as they're probably like noted to be creamy and a pop of color, which I think was probably that blue. I'm gonna show y'all the eyeliner because I really don't know if I'm gonna put on this eyeliner today, but I might. This is the eyeliner, really cute. Like, don't get me wrong, like this is, it's a really cute little packaging. It kind of looked like like a mascara bottling and then the way that you can hold this part. And then there we go, so far as the tip. Just like a, like a, like a marker pen type smell, if that makes sense. But y'all know that's not really here nor there. I like, don't care, like, we don't care about that. I put on some foundation already kind of put on some stuff on my eyelid for me to try. I think I'm gonna do a swatch first because I'm like the person I'm gonna see the swatches because I know I'm not gonna use everything. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start off with the first row. If y'all, um, I'll put a picture up instead of me just showing it. So I'm gonna start with the Melina Sands. I might be saying that wrong. Ooh, it is creamy. Melina Sands, Melina Sands. Hmm, interesting, interesting, interesting. Tope of my game. Oh, top of my game. <laughs> I said 
it's okay. <laughs> and it's like a brown, which you see. You're not gonna see that on me, kind of, but you that's 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 how that I mean if I put on my finger, this is kind of how it looks, but it's pretty much my skin color. And then we got um I cannot say these names. City Charm, which is next. Oh, wrong. I didn't went too too far off. I was do the brows, the brown one for that one. This one. That is not. I'm look, I'm not used to swatches, y'all. Don't hate me. If can y'all see that? That's the um two-day cream. And let me do the brown. It just says brown, okay? Because we brown. Brown is brown. Brown is brown, okay? And brown is like a a dark, dark brownish. I want to let me dim down the light so y'all can see that. Like that's that's brown. And then we're gonna do the turban legend, which is a black. It's so cute with the Patrick face. And black is black, pretty much a black. And I did it with my thumb, so it's not gonna be the most cleanest swatch, especially for me. Oh my goodness, it's like a, a lot of shades. Now I don't know if I want to do this. All right, so now we have the title holder, which is that second row, which that one feels just a little bit, a little bit rougher than the other one. It's like that creamy feel that they were quoting at first, real sparkly. Um, soft serve, which I doubt this shows up. Okay, dude, it's really soft. Yeah, this. You can really tell the, the creamy ones between the other ones. That's the soft serve. So this um title holder soft serve. I'm just doing the colors I like because now it's like, ugh, all the colors that I love, I like everything. Everything is giving me the everything type vibe anyway. Okay, you see how that goes on? I'm excited to see how it's gonna look on oh, my skin. I wish I could have got the top with y'all. Everything. Um, olive, olive it, olive it, olive it, explanation part. Oh, oh, it's like the, the, the green olive shimmer. I know I'm hairy. Don't hate it because I'm, I, will, I didn't think that would look nice on me, but that, that, that may be a transitioning type of look, okay? So I'm trying to keep a theme of like a neutral type feel. I'm gonna go in with book. Just as, yeah, it's, it's some kickback. So when you're doing it, don't do it going down. I wouldn't suggest that. It's like very special tone. I don't, the, I wanted book only because I really thought that it would be a nice transition color. And so far I was totally right with the transition part of it. Especially since I did my own um, brows and I want something a little fleshy for the top. Ooh. Ooh. Look at my eye. Going into brownie. I'm going to just darken up. <laughs> do anybody else do that where they got like both brushes in their hand darken up? Mm -hmm. And then now I'm gonna go in with everything. Everything is, I don't know, I may have to do this with a, a Yeah, I might have to do this with like a, I think I really didn't want to, but we may have to. So, using my ring finger, you go with everything. Yeah. That works better with the ring finger versus you trying to do it with the brush. And that's probably one of those press pigments they were talking about. I feel like that's what everything is, is press pigment. I'm gonna try to <coughs> buffering it. Oh, disclaimer on the screen, as we should say. 
I am not a professional artist. I just like makeup like the rest of the whole world. After you see something people do, you think, okay, maybe I can do it. So that's why that's where I'm at, okay? It's not a big channel. <laughs> this is just Dawn trying it, okay? This is just Dawn just being Dawn wanting to put it in my face. Now I'm going to the other eye. Because the other eye is going to be popping. Like mango is not going to show up well. It was just best to do what you know versus trying to do something different. Now we're trying matcha, which is that olive green color. We want to put that more in the middle. I like the matcha. I feel like I can put it I have. I have to kind of like pull matcha up. I don't know if I like matcha. Like, I don't know. Maybe because I put. Now I'm going to try all of it. Oh, oh. Okay, oh, I already designated matcha. Okay, now I'm going to use this to do my lining. Okay, that is our finished look we use with multiple shadows for two different types of eye looks, which are kind of the same. So I went ahead and put on my lashes, little blush, a little something, something. But yeah, for the most part, I have thoroughly enjoyed it. I think my favorite color so far, even though I did not try, it doesn't mean I won't try, has to be this beautiful blue color, which is the blue moon. Blue mine, I can't say that word. <laughs> I did like the shimmers, which was the everything and the all the all of it. And the title holder was pretty too. I didn't actually try that one on my actual eyelid. I did, we did use brownie, um, everything, books, matcha, all of it. And yeah, those were the ones that we used for far. We swatched everything, but I know for a fact this blue is gonna be my favorite. I know um the tope of my game will be a good color. For transitions especially after I do my eyebrows I kind of like bring back down my color my eye color because I always use like a lot of color anyway to do those and this black is a really nice black and I think I'm gonna like that rebel gray but yeah right now those are the ones I actually use I'm looking at it now and they were very blendable the kickback was not a lot so yeah now we come to the portion where we talked about the giveaway the giveaway we are giving away one one size visionary palette as well as a eyeliner which I did enjoy that like this eyeliner would it did not smudge because I have to put on the lashes and that's like the worst thing for me to try to lashes but yeah we're giving away one palette one um, eyeliner US only so if you are outside the US unfortunately I will not be able to send that to you but I'm so sorry for right now for this particular giveaway my first giveaway we're going to just do it US only. In the description box below, you'll find the information on how to enter. Show me platforms that is again, delightful underscore Dawn. Thank you for watching this video and for always showing me love and all the little endeavors that I've done so far. Thank you for the thousand plus subscribers that I have gained on this channel. And yes, yeah, so until next time, stay unapologetically you and all that you do.